So as William just said, uh, we are about to bid farewell to this uh, garden fest. It is a bittersweet moment. Uh, she's now standing by at the expo for the very last time. So William, what do you have for us on the last day of the horticultural uh, festival? Well, hello, Zoya. It has been an eventful time covering the expo. Um, as a journalist, I think the expo has served its purpose. I made many new friends from countries that were foreign to me previously, you know, and friends that I never thought that I would have made if not for the expo. I also learned a lot uh, more about how plants can be our allies. So it has been a great time. And joining me here right now to reflect on this journey of the expo is Sarah Everett, who is the Commis Commissioner General and Project Director for the UK Pavilion. Sarah, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much for inviting me to join you. It's been a great pleasure already, and I know it will be again. <laughs> great. So, Sarah, we were just talking about this just now, you know, that both of us are going to miss the expo. So much to remember. What would be your most memorable moment, and what will you take away from the expo? Well, I think uh, to many of us who don't know China perhaps very well, uh, what has been a really wonderful experience for us is making many friends here, uh, in, in uh, both from China and from around the world, and also being able to experience the whole of China here at the Expo because of the most beautiful gardens from across China, from all the provinces, and meeting people from each of the provinces who come here for the province days, the provincial days, and, and that's been, it's been like going on a journey through China, and it's been wonderful. And throughout your time here, you have met many people you know from the government level various chinese provinces as well as businesses what are the um, tangible outcomes that have been seen on the business front from this expo well we've been very struck by the uh, number of people who are working to develop new gardens uh, across the whole of china uh, which is really encouraging but also those who are already working with some british organizations with some of the big uh, botanical institutions in in Britain like the Eden project and so we have been able to, they have come to this garden and seen this garden and said that they would like to build more gardens of this kind of style in China so we will work continue to work very closely with them and so we will build up new new partnerships in garden design in in environmental science uh, and in plant uh, plant life and plant conservation so the UK and China already have very strong horticultural roots. So this expo has elevated that to a higher level, right? So Sarah, I would like you know you to tell our audience and you know in terms of advice yeah. in our capacity as citizens of the world, what can we do in our daily life to be more mindful in terms about how we can care better for the environment? Well, I think that what this expo has done has shown. Uh, not just how beautiful gardens are, but how gardens can be so good for us. They can be really good for our health, they can make us feel better, but also we can, we can see how easy it is to create a, a small garden or a large garden, uh, very simply and very inexpensively, whether, whether it's uh, on the ground or whether it's, it's in an apartment, you know, in window boxes or on roofs or in small little spaces in cities. It's very easy to create a, a green space, a beautiful garden, and, and that's a wonderful uh, way to relax and also to help the environment. Very well said. I think research has also put out that with more plants around us, our well-being, you know, creativity and productivity also increases. Thank you, Sarah, again for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. We're going to miss this a great deal. I'm going to miss it too. <laughs> right, so Zoya, this is the end of the expo, 162 days. And you know what? It's, it's an expo that really transcends cultures, ages. So it's been a great time for me. Back to you for now. Indeed.